Hi, in this poster, I'll present findings from my forthcoming paper on mental health in the PhD. Studies indicate that mental illness is significantly more prevalent amongst PhD students compared to the general population. While a growing body of research demonstrates this high incidence of mental illness, few studies qualitatively explore individual PhD students' lived experiences of mental illness. My study does this by delving into the PhD journey of M at a research intensive university in Australia. I based my study on the concept of psychological capital. Psychological capital can be defined as having a positive mental state where you believe in yourself, put in the effort to tackle challenges, stay optimistic about success, persist towards your goals and bounce back from adversity. Think of it as tapping into your inner hero, with the letters of heroes standing for hope, efficacy, resilience and optimism. For my study, I used narrative ethnography as a research design to explore both M's and my own experiences. The data set for my study included survey responses, email-based conversations, field notes, and reflective Zoom conversations. I conducted reflexive thematic analysis on the data and constructed four themes that were representative of our experiences. These four themes were, I am working towards my dreams, taking care of myself is hard, but I can learn the skills I need, Sharing my experiences with others helps me bounce back from adversity, and I know I can succeed. Importantly, these themes were often interconnected, demonstrating the complexity of M's and my own experiences. During my PhD journey, I faced setbacks that remained certain of my goals and found ways to overcome adversity. My strong sense of self and optimism stemmed from childhood experiences, giving me confidence and a belief in success. M2 experienced a transformation in her PhD journey. When she started her PhD, she described herself as living a content and purpose-driven life. However, her PhD significantly changed this as she experienced her journey as driving a tiny little boat on a fierce and intimidating ocean because of persistent panic attacks. Importantly, she had a turning point in her journey when she realized her PhD was not more important than her mental health. This gave her optimism and hope for the future and fostered her confidence in her ability to succeed in the PhD. The findings from my study highlight the importance of educators leading cultural reform within academia. My findings show that supportive learning environments such as collaborative writing groups can foster students' psychological capital. Additionally, it's important to create environments which do not ignore adversity, but help students interpret these obstacles as opportunities for learning and growth. Finally, I show that research supervisors should openly discuss mental illness in academia. In this way, we can contribute to making the academic environment more welcoming, compassionate, inclusive, and growth-focused. Thank you.